Tough 70. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at uh, uh, 20 past the hour. Don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call. Come over to our website at TFN. You're going to go into newsletters. You're going to see the opening call. In fact, you're going to see it says subscribe to webinar. We're going to get both, which is pretty cool. You just hit that subscribe button. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. And you can get it for one full year for $1195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Basil has a huge amount of archives on there. You also get to get all those archives. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Well, um, it's not a very pleasant day in the market. Dow's down 421. So um, I thought I'd just A lot of red. Review. A lot of red, no doubt. A, a lot of red. I thought I'd just review where we offer subscribers to my opening call. Um, okay. So using uh, one of the techniques that I, I, I'm very fond of, uh, we, we managed to go short the day of the high for the Dow, the Dow on the 1st of August hit 35,679. And we went short. We're still short. Um, we also went short two days after the all-time high in the SMHs, which is the semiconductor index. SMH, here it is. Um, right here, uh, 161.17 was the all-time high, July the 31st. And what's fascinating about this is you made a high in the SMHs. The, this is the, uh, the market vector semiconductor ETF. And November of 2021 at 159.42, came all the way down to 83.49, and then ran to two points above that, 161.17. No, it's amazing that it made an all-time high. Well, when it did that, it there was a, a doji candle. It was actually a Chapman wave, a reverse. It's a red inverse. Roman candle, I'll talk about that on my show tomorrow if anyone's interested in my show at 10 o'clock in the uh, Tiger Technician's Hour. And then there was a doji candle, and then right at the all-time high, instead of having this huge candle, at an all-time high, it just squeaks to this tiny little doji candle on the 31st of July, and the following day made a lower low, and then I looked at it and I said, everything about this says to me, <clears throat> this is the day after we had gone short the Dow, that th this uh, semiconductor... Uh, index has run its course and it should be turning down. So we went short the, the day, two days after the high, within two points of the high, and we are still short. Now, if you use a one to one, this is the, I call it the Tiger Financial News Networks, A to B equals C to D, completely different to my notation of uh, higher peaks, A, B, C, D, F, G, and lower troughs, the same thing. This is different. So, um, we are within a, a point or so of that equidistant move from 161.17 down to 143.35 and then back up to the 150s and now we've come down. So this is actually a pretty important moment, but that's just part of the story. The real story is you can see this weekly chart in the semi, and I always think that the semiconductor in index kind of leads the market up and down over the decades. I've followed it for, for just forever, and it just seems to me that that happens so often that you've got to respect this. So there's a pattern that I call the dreaded H, where you come down sharply, then you arch over, it looks like a lowercase h, and at a peak A or a B, it breaks the left side low. Well, we've done that now in the weekly chart, and that just says, that we're now underneath this inside track. What was a propellant zone is now a repellent zone. So all of these things are saying um, that we, it's not going to be easy because the other thing is uh, the dollar has run up. I, I use this uh, indicator called the 914 exponential moving averages. And I've been saying this for some time that that nine period moving average, this green line, the daily chart is so strongly above the 14 period moving average that to really get the dollar to break down, you'd have to see it probably under 104.30, and right now it's at 106.24. So, so far, just as we're speaking right now, I don't have any indication on the dollar that it's going to, maybe it can have a little pullback, but I don't see a major turn yet. I will see it if there's a, about a two or three point decline in the next week or so. But so far, and the other thing I've been talking about in the dollar is that um, there was a series, I'm going to squeeze this a little bit so you can see it better right here. 
So this is the weekly chart. So 114.78 was the high in September of 2022 in the dollar, and it comes down, and then it makes this pattern that I call, I should show it to you right here if I can get it quick enough. Let's see if I can do that. Yeah, so the pattern that I spoke about earlier on is where you come down sharply, make a little bounce, and then fail at a peak A or B, and that, that I call the dreaded H. Well, in the weekly chart, it made this lowercase h, and the lowercase h, if it holds the left side low, can then make an arch that goes to a lowercase m. So it's just two small arches. And it broke down and hit the 200-period moving average. So it sounds like the dollar's just fantastic, but actually the, all the dollar's done is gone back into this rectangle, what I mentioned about three months ago, and then two months ago, and then a month ago, I said, I'm waiting because until the, the dollar can close for two out of three weeks above the high that was made back in the, the week of the 10th of March of 105.88, I, I need to see a decisive break because this rectangle pattern can actually become a magnet. So the price goes up, but if it doesn't close nicely above the arch high, it can come right back. So this is a, a pretty critical moment on the weekly chart. And then talking about the weekly chart, look at this. But I should just also mention that we are short, we are long a uranium stock. We're still long. We have fabulous profits. We're still holding it. And it's funny in this environment, it might be because crude oil's moved up. So this is part of the energy sector. So we're in at about 364 and it's now trading at 524. And we're holding nice. it. It's, yeah, it is nice because in this environment, to have something moving up is very, it's, it's good. So I just wanted to show you that in the in the weekly charts, look the dollar, uh, sorry the Dow, this is just the beginning of the week. I have to wait until Friday's close, but you can see there's an S. That means the nine period went under the 14 period moving average, and that's the first time it's done that in the weekly chart since oh way back. The last time it was negative was back in November of 2022. So I'm watching this very closely. If you look at the S and P. The S and P is the same same thing. It's uh, right. It's also done this one to one. It's right on the 200 period moving average as we speak right now in the daily chart. But you've done the dreaded H, this H pattern, which very often, if you break down, you can go one to one to the downside. So it, the nine period moving average is so close to turning negative, but it hasn't yet. And it's a weekly chart, so I have to wait till Friday. And the same thing in the QQQ turned down sharply. But the nine period moving average is still above the 14 in the weekly chart. All the daily charts are in cell modes, but I, I'm just starting to get cell signals in the weekly chart. So I, I, I must say this is a, a period fraught with uh, things that are we don't have everything coming together. We don't think back how many times have we had the dollar streaming to recovery highs, the bonds going to lower lows. Um, crude oil holding very nicely in the upper range. So I think there, and then strikes, they're talking about strikes. So there are a lot of things there that, that could make one pretty nervous. No doubt. Basil, you have a great one, safe one, and we look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you, man. Thank you, Tom. You too. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.